What's up guys, welcome back to Total War Warhammer where we are continuing our Empire Conquest of everything. Absolutely everything. By everything I of course mean uh, fighting back the chaos and also going after the last remains of the Vampire Counts. Uh, let's just go ahead and end that turn. We have the Jade Wizard coming down uh, to join I believe Volkmar's army. You want us to join a war against the elves, I'm not going to do that, I'm sorry. They just, you know, I just made peace with them. I don't want to do that to the, the elves. I don't want to be that guy. Um, yeah, our Jade Wizard should be going down for Volkmar. He is going to fight it. We are not close enough to reinforce. Which really sucks. But if we retreat, then we can reinforce. And we... I figured we wouldn't be close enough to reinforce just because uh, we moved Volkmar to take out that other army in the last episode, um, but it, yeah, we couldn't get we couldn't get far enough back in before we encamped. I guess I could have just not encamped, I but I wanted him to, to get a little bit of replenishment. I don't want to. I want you guys to forever be in fear. They're gonna go up north. Potentially obeying our last command that we gave them while they were still our vassals, they being Musulon. We research some technology. Raiding. Guys. Guys. Uh. Alright, this is Gelt, who's running around everywhere. I don't remember, like, I guess we had just great justice with him up here. I'm not really sure. What happened? I, I don't quite remember it. <laughs> um, I think we go ahead and let's go ahead and keep giving him some charge bonus. And we're going to go after this army right here. Uh, this is our little guy we're trying to level up. They're all down here. I can't quite reach them, but I can reach this guy. So let's try to assassinate this guy. 13% chance that we will fail horribly. Let's go ahead and do it. We of course failed horribly, but we can level up a little bit uh, so we're almost at champion let's go patrol ambusher again get a little technology coming in let's see we just got we just got something <laughs> so it's time to get something else I think we got supply wagons uh, global recruitment I don't remember what I said we were gonna do uh, for this because it's been about a week since I've played unfortunately um, so let's go ahead and go for bonus attack and defense for our cab I think that sounds pretty good. We'll get some of that. We still don't have a steam tank, though. Balthazar really needs a steam tank. So I guess what we'll do with Balthazar is come take out this guy that's over here in the forest, and then we will be able to hopefully protect Talapheim as well. Talapheim has quite a strong garrison, uh, so we should be fine from pretty much all of these armies combined. Uh, but we'll go ahead and pop up here with Gelt. And he can't really run away. We're going to go ahead and just auto-resolve that. All the chariots, we will execute you. You will... Did he run in the trees? No, oh, he's up here. What a jerk. He got away. Okay, that's fine. It's alright. It's okay. Wow, are we really only level 13? That's amazing. Um... See, I need to finish out Lightning Strike so I can get better reinforcement range on everyone. Uh, and also Casualty Replenishment Rate I want to get as well. So let's go ahead and pop in that. Okay. And we have this guy up here who's kind of holding the line against Gulator. I think we're going to give you some more stuff, Vion Alderidge. We're going to give you some more stuff. Um, mortars would be good to pop over the walls. So let's get him, let's get him a couple mortars. Very well. We're getting a little light on our treasury funds, but I think this is a good spend. Our garrison... Our garrison has mortars, but with this army up here, I mean, it's a lot of cav. So, they shouldn't be able to do too, too much damage to the doors. They do have a hell cannon, though, which is a little terrifying. Uh, maybe the mortars will be able to take out the hell cannon. That's going to be really risky, but that's the only thing I see being able to take out the hell cannon because uh, we couldn't get normal cannons to fire over walls into that. I don't think it will work out quite that well. So, Jade Wizard going down here for Volkmar. You guys need to kind of like figure out what you're doing basically. Um, we're going to let Volkmar siege. 
we're going to let you siege. You go ahead and get uh, a couple of these guys and a battering ram. And we will continue the siege. We will reinforce with you, like right over here. We will not make this mistake again. Let him replenish a little bit. So there we go. That should go quite nicely. Make sure everyone's moved. You are defending down here. Heinz is up here. Just hanging out with a large army that he's not really using. Maybe we should just have him go attack things. He can make it over here. Hergig has a, a strong enough garrison. Let's do it. You're gonna run. What a girl. He can't make it though. Um, we're gonna auto that. That's not even a little bit close. We've killed Kalak Bjerk. In charge bonus melee attack. Not enough XP to level though. I'm going to go ahead and force march him back over here to Talaheim. And I think this one slot we have is for this Empire Captain done here. Alright. Um, let's check our war targets real fast. And actually, let's check to see if he wants to confederate. Uh, not yet. He does not. So let's see our war targets. Bretonia. Let's go ahead and give you guys a war target. Of... I don't see... Man, I just, I don't know where they are. Come up here, please. Who else needs a, the dwarves need a war target. Greetings, honorable that what I want ally. To do. Um, if you guys want to come over to Fort Oversteyr, that would be great. And I'll let the other dwarves just do whatever. I'm assuming they still do stuff when I don't give them targets. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Get some more stuff going on. I want some glorious combat because I'm super rusty and it's not going to go super well, but I still enjoy it. Uh oh. Okay, good. Thought that was another army for a second. There's lots of little annoying guys for us to assassinate. Yeah, I don't remember giving them a war target, so they're just going wherever they feel like. I'm surprised he's taking attrition, though. Why would he take attrition there? Unless there's just corruption there. Uh oh. Can you feel it? That must be I'm why I haven't seen Archaeon yet. Because <laughs> it hasn't happened. The chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves, for war is coming. But who has brought the warring tribes together? What manner of champion holds that power? So, uh, Archaon's on his way with, uh, Sortharl and the Magnificent Dude. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. The old world despairs for Archaon, the ever-chosen champion of chaos, is come and with him the end times. Once a Templar priest of Sigmar, Archaon uncovered a terrible secret which drove him to reject his faith and pledge himself to the gods of chaos. In their service, he has devoted himself to the world's destruction, defeating all challengers and rising to a position of dominance over all in the chaos wastes, achieving the ultimate accolade, his dark coronation as the Ever Chosen. The vessel through which the Dark God unites followers to turn the world into a realm of chaos. It is to his banner the warriors of chaos have been flocking, and it is his malign will that now drives them forth in a terrible wave of destruction destined to sweep all before it. The earth groans beneath the iron-shod feet of Archaon's numberless horde, and with him comes death. Is there any champion of the old world mighty enough to withstand the lord of the end times? The dwarves. Duh. Uh-oh. Ostermark. Eh. 
Quest issued. Amulet of Sea Gold. A number of strange incidents have occurred within the Empire of late. Tombs have been desecrated and libraries broken into. Oddly, nothing has been taken. The Emperor's spies report that a number of ill omen individuals have been connected to some of the misdeeds. The trick is now to catch one of them and learn more. Carry out a successful assassination attempt against one character belonging to the undead. Okay. Um, we're going to go for... Take it back. And Midnheim is being sieged right now by Gulator, backed up by Rulik Sidious. You do have Bretoni nearby. Uh, let's see, do we have any guys in this area over here? We can't assassinate anyone right now, unfortunately, um, just because we're sieging at the moment, so we can't actually interact with this army. So that quest might just finish itself. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some walls, and we'll upgrade this gold mine to get a little bit more income, and then we will uh, we'll see what we can do up here. You are super close. I feel like we should finish this guy off. I feel like we should finish this guy off. Please just be dead. All right, cool. He's just dead. Great. And then we will uh, force march our way over here. And help reinforce this city. We could... We could go forth and attack. I, uh... feel like maybe we should. Man. All those great swords. We have some halberdiers. We have some handgunners. We even have some empire knights. What do you have? Chariots and lots of cav. Um... I mean... The smart play is to just wait for Gelt to reinforce next turn. And then we can sally with the garrison. Uh, or even Theon. So we'll, we'll just wait. We will play it cool, basically. Uh, you, sir. Of Sigma. You can go attack this Sigma guy. Who's going to run. By and he's just out of range. Kislev is still hanging on for right now. Uh, which is great news. I probably can't confederate them at all. I can't. Then we will see them. That's uh, Averland. Now that Archaon's here, he's like, yep, I'm in. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's see what he gave us. We now have Sterland under control. With Confederated Averland. So we have the Moot over here. Um, we can do... Let's get rid of some of this corruption. And let's get you guys some walls. We can't afford anything right now, unfortunately. Um, I'm fine with economy down here. And we have wine coming in. So this is this is all good. We're bad. Uh, is that was that ours already? I don't remember if this was ours. It might have been. Um, do we have any just random armies? Our income went down a little bit. This guy leveled up. Go ahead and give him that. Volkmar is sieging. Where are you? Of Sigma. You are there. Who are Provinces? you? That's not our army. Um, yeah, this is this is not our man. So we're gonna just disband this whole army. There we go. There's some income for us. We have enough stuff down here, and now that uh, we even have this border over here, I am gonna be completely comfortable with taking this guy over here, Mr. Castellan Engineer guy, and we're gonna go take ourselves some places By the comet. so we'll take uh, we'll take Faldorf and then we'll take Grinstadt, Swarchhofen and uh, that will be everything down here cleaned up so in nine turns they'll run out supplies they'll get a they tick of uh, attrition and then depending on how it's going we'll either attack them or we won't and we also have all this so you haven't moved yet. Okay, so next turn, we'll uh, we'll get Gelt over there, and we will see what's gonna happen. Basically, we'll probably initiate with Gelt, honestly, and then go from there. We'll be getting a lot of reinforcements from the city, as well as the army stacked on top. Everyone sees that and is now going for Gelt. I'm gonna retreat with Gelt because you guys are being jerks. Come fight Bretonia. Was that Kolek? Is Kolek up here already? Bretonia, don't leave. <laughs> nope. Nope, not gonna happen. 
Oh, Bretonia, you're killing me, man. He's like, he walks all the way out here and then doesn't fight anything and then retreats to like. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not gonna break my alliance with Bretonia. What are you. That's ridiculous. Why would you even ask me that? He's got a lot of armies for having like one city. I don't really understand how he can afford that. Alright, um, before we do any more spending, let's go ahead and get this guy here. We'll colonize you. And then we'll go ahead and build you up. Let's go up here. Let's check on Gelt. Uh, we should be okay. Like, we're not, we're not full, but he does have... Let's see, that is Kolek. He's level 20 already? Oh my goodness. He took over Gulator's army, didn't he? Um, I, am ready. I think we should be okay. We have a lot of spears to help with the charges. Our crossbows are pretty much going to tear through them. Man, we, if we could focus fire them down, that would be awesome. The only problem is they have a lot of missile cav, which is going to be a pain, as well as the hell cannon. But we have the hammer of witches, which we could use to take out the hell cannon, potentially. Um, as well as, if we can catch them, we have the cav advantage. Yes, I am in ascent. Let's, uh, three hell cannons. Wow. Armored, armor piercing. It's like these guys aren't going to do that well against our spear wall because, like, our spear wall is not armored at all. I don't think. You guys are just shielded, so. Should be okay as long as you have the great swords backing you up. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. If we want a lightning strike Kolek or lightning strike Rulik. If we lightning strike Rulik, we would be a little closer over here. That way we could reinforce with Theon if we needed to uh, after the first attack. Also, he's on force march, so all of his guys are going to be tired. Let's do that. Let's go over here and lightning strike him. And we're just going to fight it and see what happens and hope for the best. That's not what I wanted to do. Like, at all. I wanted to do this, and lightning strike, and then quick save, and then fight. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> well, now we might not be able to make it back to the city for reinforcements. Um, the triple hell cannon does concern me a little bit. We are in a giant open field. Uh, it looks like there is a dip down in the middle. I think our front line will hold against his front, especially with our greatswords backing it up. Uh, we should be able to hopefully go through their infantry, also with Balthazar's uh, super awesome debuffs, is what I'm kind of banking on. We are going to... I'm going to gamble. I want more. Didn't work. Okay, uh, let's start deployment. So what do we have over here? I want to check these real quick. This is enemies in range, so this is going to be weapon attack down and weapon damage down. So that's going to be huge for us. Um, that's probably what most of our mana is going to be spent on, is doing transmutation of lead. We can also overcast it to make it have more melee damage reduction, or weapon damage reduction. So we may do that. We may not. We're not going to do that. It's not a duration bonus, so we're just going to... Transmutation of lead, everyone, as much as we possibly can. Um, honestly, I want to fight over here. I want to get kind of in the corner. That way they can't ram their cav over and over into us. So we're going to just drop everyone back here and then make ourselves a, uh, a new box, basically. We're going to make ourselves a defensive geometry in the corner and just kind of hope for the best. So let's go ahead and take our spears and bring them over here like this and then once we get to the corner we'll wrap them if we need to put our great swords reinforcing all along the main line we'll put you and you demigriff knights I kinda wanna keep these guys hidden I don't know if there's enough room to hide both of these in the woods though okay I wanna keep these guys hidden until we get in a position that way we can maybe get some rear charges off or like catch the people that are escaping. Um, the crossbows are going to be in the back, and I will try to micro them as best I can. And then you guys are also going to be in the back. So, okay, so pretty much we're just going to grab everything 
and new box it up just like this this is actually going to work out pretty well and we'll keep our demigriff knights kind of hidden over here that's not what I wanted at all everyone stop oh no oh no <laughs> it's all going horribly wrong all right, let's move this over here. Let's reform our spears along the hill up here, like so. Could probably do a little bit wider. Do these guys over this way, like so. And then you get the crossbows up here on the hill as well. We're going to have to be careful with our arty, uh, because once they get too close, they will start popping shots off. Cancel it. And hitting our guys in the back. Cancel it. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I keep right-clicking to rotate the camera around. What am I playing? Is that RimWorld's camera? I thought RimWorld was just like middle mouse um, with no camera rotation. I've been playing something where it's like right-click to look around, so apologies for that. Let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. The cannon is not set up yet. I'm assuming they're going to go for us. Cannons are turning around. No, they're not even there yet. Okay. Hellstorm rocket battery, I'm actually going to see if I can put in the corner. And then the cannon will keep up here on the hill like that. Okay, so as soon as their hell cannon is in range, which I don't think it will be, uh, we'll save our demigriffs for that. We'll save them and then we'll rush them over. In fact, I might even use... Uh, I might even use the Empire Captain to go around. You know what, let's do that. Excuse me. We'll, uh, we'll bring him over here and use him like we did last time to go for the Hell Cannons. They have a pretty long way to go until they're in range. Wish there was like a times 5 or 10 or something. I mean, it's my fault for making the new box, but it's one of those things where it's like, hey, I'll take advantage of it if I can. This is super cheesy, though. I'll probably never do this again, guys. I feel really dirty about this. <laughs> like... Using invisible walls to keep things from attacking me. I feel so scummy right now. I kind of just want to like rush forward, but that that wouldn't be the wise decision, basically. I kind of want to charge them into their Marauder Horsemen real quick just to get a, a good solid hit on them and then leave. It'll also eat up some missiles. Alright, you have the Scroll of Shielding, which is a 22% ward, and also increased power reserves, which we don't need yet. Our power reserves are 30 right now. Things will be in range of our arty soon. The Hell Cannons will also be stopping soon. Alright, let's go ahead and stop this. Can you guys... They are out of range. Okay, so we're going to bring the Empire Captain out here. We'll bring the Demigrips out here. What did I just move? That's guilt. Alright, so Demigriffs, come out here, please. We're gonna have you go for you. You go for you. You go for you. I, I could bring Geld out here. That unit of Spearmen is just taking it in the face. Wow. I kind of have him off to the side because I don't want Hellstorm rocket batteries just like mess him up. I could drop this on their leader. Let's do it. Oh, well, that's enemies in range, too. No, it's better against single targets. We're going to drop it on him. Go ahead and move over. Really need our cab to get into this. You guys are going to start unloading soon. This unit of spears is basically done. I'm actually going to pull them to the back. I'm going to get these chariots. This stuff's getting mopped up pretty well. I'm actually going to take our captain, get over here in these Marauder Horsemen if I can. They're 92 speed. He is 116 speed, so he is definitely going to be able to catch them. Uh, these Warhounds are not doing too well either. But the Hell Cannons have stopped, which is great. I want you guys to uh, halt. No no more fire at will. My 
Alright, we'll, uh... Not overcast this. We're gonna drop it along this right side. We're gonna push some of our great swords over there into this right side and try to just clean everything up. Get these great swords in the front. Check on these guys up here. He will catch them. These dogs can outrun us. They're probably just gonna run. And we'll be able to get some rear charges off. Oh, we got in the... Ooh. Nice. Okay, good. We got a good charge. Hopefully that shatters them. I'm gonna get the Empire Captain up here. Those guys can do whatever they want. We're gonna go ahead and let these guys route. They can come back if they want. These guys are obstructed, unfortunately. I don't know how. You're you're on a hill. You can shoot up and over things. This is this is not going well. And you guys are not supposed to be on fire at will. Like at all. You guys are on fire at will. Let's get into these guys. Those are halberds, I don't really want to go into them. Those are also halberds, I don't really want to go into them. Twelve more seconds, we can get another one of these off. Those are great weapons. I think we just rear charge anyways, we just go for it. We have the Empire Captain up here. We could overcast this. That gives him more armor, which means that the other guys do more damage, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to drop this right there. See what's going on. We're going to cycle our cab out. Cycle our, cycle our captain out. Unfortunately, our archers are pretty worthless on this hill. Like, I just... <laughs> I don't know why you're obstructed. I guess you're crossbows. It makes, it makes sense. Let's see if we can get in these chariots real quick. Take those down. Dive into these great swords, keep them routing. Alright. They kinda punched through our mid, but we We should be that's it. That's just it's done. Okay. I'm not really sure what happened. Did their leader go down? I wasn't even focusing their leader. It looks like maybe their leader went down. I feel really dirty about that new box. Um <laughs> I was basically just trying to win. We do stupid stuff to win, guys. We really do. I would like to say that if I do play multiplayer, I would never do that multiplayer. I would, like, I'll totally make a new box, but I would never just, like, go corner camp. That's that's awful. I feel bad about doing it against the AI. I would feel like trash if I did it against a player. Uh, but we made it. We made it through, which is important because they didn't make it through. We will go ahead and execute their captives. And then that is, oh, we totally got their army, like, 100%. So now Kolek is going to have to leave. We are going to force march over here next to the city. And uh, we'll encamp next turn. Let's see what we can do about that. Or with that, rather. And we have Heinz over here just kind of hanging out, doing some stuff. We're actually going to move him back to Hergig. And this guy we will bring up here as well. We'll see if we can assassinate Kolek. 18% chance of failure. Let's go ahead and assassinate him. You got it. Your orders... Did he win? Holy crap. Kolex off the field. <laughs> we got him, guys. We got him. You're the best person ever. Uh, rank 6. So we're going to go ahead and give him... It doesn't really matter. Siege holdout time, I guess, would be okay. Since he's going to kind of hang out in this area. Uh, we can check over here to see what's going on. Can't really do much as far as leveling things up is concerned. Volkmar has... I don't think he can, he can't even rejoin the army because he's sieging, so. Oh, he can. I didn't think you could rejoin an army once you hopped out because of a siege. Okay. Cool. So, eight turns, they'll run out of supplies. Again, the smart thing is just let them do their thing um, and not necessarily fight it. We're going to go for a military alliance with the dwarves because I like the dwarves, guys. I'm going to feel bad if I play a green skin campaign because we're going to be killing little stunties all over the place, just left and right. They're going to be going down. Uh, I wanted to see why they were taking attrition up here, but I guess I forgot to. We don't have that much corruption in the area. We even have cathedrals and everything going around, so hopefully that'll help out. 
I don't know. All right, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, in the next episode, well, I guess... Oh, no, he lived. That was him, right? He lived. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to keep fighting the chaos, keep sieging the vampire counts, and we should be okay. I'm feeling pretty confident right now in our armies, uh, especially when I do trashy things like make that box, man. Uh, we'll go for that, and... Know, we'll go headhunter in case we decide to recruit uh, a better front line for him. But I really think that these basic spearmen are a good front line against the the chaos, just because they're unarmored, so all the armor piercing of the chaos isn't going to do much. Uh, as well as them, just the AI running full chariot builds, like just all the chariots all the time. I think it'll be pretty helpful. Um, you can see they held really well with the great swords backing them up, except for the the one unit that just ate the hell cannon shots over and over. So I'm feeling like right now versus the Chaos, we have a pretty good army set up with Gelts. And then as soon as Vampire Counts get done, we'll move up there with Volkmar as well as Franz and pretty much just wreck everyone. So that'll be fun. Uh, we'll also work a little bit on Gelts Quest if we can get that going. I don't think we have any other quests going right now, do we? This is Jade Griffin. Um, that has this attacking kiss lev, which I don't want to do right now. And Silver Seal is deploy a Witch Hunter in Reichland. That's down here. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. I'll queue that up, and then that will wrap up this episode. Where's our Witch Hunter? There's our Witch Hunter. We'll move him up here into Reichland, and uh, that should be here. Yep. So we'll go deploy him there in a few turns, and uh, yeah, see what's going on with that quest as well. So that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.